Hey you guys, this is Fiber Home Michelle. Sorry I haven't done a video in a while, but hey, that's a good thing. You know why that's a good thing? It means for the last couple of weeks, I've been getting out of bed. I've been trying to be myself. I've been trying to reclaim my life. And you know what? I think it's because I came to this uh, realization, I guess you could say. Something that I'd never thought of before, because you know, a lot of people watching my videos and they said, God, you sound so angry. And you know what? I was angry. And I am angry. Because I lost my life. You know? The wheelchair, not going to work, uh, not able to feed yourself, not able to shake someone's hand, um, not driving at night, uh, you smell something and you get sick, you eat something you think you're going to die. I lost my life. I was a performer. I used to go all over the world. I used to ride my motorcycle everywhere. And I couldn't do any of it anymore. So, yeah, every doctor I went to told me I was crazy. My family treated me like I was crazy. My sister killed herself. My brother was also sick with a couple of different things and hit his head and died. My grandmother suffered her whole life. So, yeah, I guess I was mad. But you know what? I came to a con conclusion that I think helped me, and I hope it will help you guys too, that... They usually say there's like five stages of grief if there's loss in your life like death. Well, you know, if anybody gets breast cancer or cancer of the prostate or HIV or AIDS or anything, everybody says, oh, did you know so-and-so got breast cancer? Oh, I feel so bad for her. I can't believe what's-her-name's got MS. Those poor people, maybe I should make something to take it to their house or help them walk their dogs. But guess what? When you have fibromyalgia, people are like, oh, I know somebody that has that, and they still go to work, so you must be okay. Or, you look great. I've never seen you look this good. You must be okay. So we do not get to experience a very crucial thing. If you're a psychologist out there, help me out. We don't get to experience, uh, that's my puppies running around. They're doing good too, thank God. You don't get to experience grief or mourning you can't mourn your old life if you do people say you're feeling sorry for yourself or you're not eating right or you should change your diet or uh you're seeing the wrong doctor after you've seen 50 and they were all dicks they they just don't get it they don't get waking up every four hours in such pain that you want to die but you know i'm looking at it a whole different way now it's like you know what People are never going to get it. In 1980s, HIV that turned into AIDS, people didn't get it all. There was no funding for it at all. And I just listened to Dr. Klimas, and I have an, uh, uh, an appointment with her soon. And she said that her people with um, Coco Taylor, be nice. Yeah, that's the doggy. She said that, that her CFS FM people have worse lifestyles than her HIV guys because, you know, they're able to have medications. And you know what? They're able to grieve it. And I think that's the biggest thing. I mean, hopefully a medication will come around that's not just painkillers so we can lose that stigma. But um, the ability to be able to grieve the life we lost. Because, you know, most of us, we're in bed most of the time. Right now, I'm pulling myself up. If it's for two hours and I get something done, I'm patting myself on the back. It doesn't matter if, if anyone else does it. I'm doing it. If I make myself dinner, I, I'm amazed. Hey, I'm cool now. You know, I've always had to get up and take care of the dogs and stuff like that, whether it was hell or not. But that's what I'm telling you guys. Think in your brain, you know, all the people you know that have had cancer or whatever else, and they're up and they're living their lives and they're doing fine. And they were able to share the experience or talk about it with people that understood them. And they were able to grieve the life, but they were able to start living it again. We don't get to start our lives back like they were, but we can make new ones. Don't remember, we can make new ones, or don't forget. I mean, I started painting. I never thought I could paint before, and I'm having all these people that want to buy my paintings. And I'm going to sell them, maybe the copies or something. 
and I'm gonna put it all for fibro research, fibromyalgia research, and I hope Dr. Nancy Thomas and I, that was my little dog, uh, Coco Taylor. She's learning to sing the blues. Stop it, Coco. Coco. And uh, anyway, you see I'm feeling better, and it's because I'm making myself. If I get out of bed and get one thing done, I go better. Because I know, you know, we have people that think we're nuts, but we're our own worst critic. You hate yourself when you don't do anything. When you're in bed all day, you feel guilty. And you don't feel like you're worth anything. Coco, stop it. And that's where I think we get into a lot of trouble. So you start having fun with everything that's happened. Like, I'm having fun with my dog. I could stop the video and try it over. But why? It's my life. It's part of it. The dog makes me happy. The sunset. God, it was beautiful tonight. Florida has had cool weather. I could go outside without sweating and it dripping down my back. You know, you got to see every little thing that's trivial to someone else. And if you can do it, you've accomplished more than most people do in a day or a week. Because you had the strength to get out of bed and try it. This is Fibro Hell Michelle. And we're going to start getting positive on this damn thing. And now that I'm up, I'm going to make a t-shirt with some of these paintings I've been doing. I got that one that's called Stop in the Name of Pain. It's on Facebook. I think it's on Flickr. Look up Flickr, uh, M. Sertonio, or Google me, Michelle Sertonio. You'll see my paintings. This is new. I did this in the last year or so. So if I can start a new life and start a new way to feel good about myself, you can too. I love you guys. Keep it up. This is Fibro Hell Michelle. I'll see you guys later.